Hello, Steve White, Steve White 39. Well, a bit of a storm in a teacup with Star Wars. Um, basically, a couple of days ago was May 4th, which is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was never a huge Star Wars fan, and um, all the drama with the um, Disney trilogy and um, Gina Carano and all that just sucked the life out of me. I just have, I just don't have energy, any energy for Star Wars right now. I didn't do anything for Star Wars Day. I was going to do a video, and I'm like, what am I going to talk about? You'd just be doing it for the sake of it. What, what, what are you doing? So I just I didn't do anything. Um, and I think a lot of people have that energy for Star, Star Wars at the moment. Um, but, um, yeah, they, they had a um, fan art competition, and they put up on Star Wars Day three posters that um, fans had done for the three films. And... People noticed something odd because they'd announced these photos before, these images before, and these were edited versions, and they had removed Finn again. So uh, there's this big drama because back in the day when they did um, the, the the artwork for um, China, they removed Finn, just like when they did um, Black Panther, they put his mask on to hide the fact he's black because apparently Asian people don't like black people. Um, there's some racism there, apparently, um, in China. So they were basically... This is Disney, who's supposed to be woke and all about diversity and representation, but they were um, removing a black character and minimising black characters in the promotional artwork of their films because supposedly the people they're marketing to were racist. So that's kind of just hypocritical. So the, the, the Star Wars fans and the, um, the fandom menace and all those people just loved that and they just got into that. Um, I don't blame them. It's, it's, it's pretty low. And Finn also very much was supposed to be a bigger character when they um, created the first trilogy and they absolutely reduced him and, and just ruined the character in the second film. Uh, this is also sort of what they did with the Snyder, um, the, um, the Whedon cut of the Snyder, um, the Snyderverse, Justice League, um, where they basically made Cyborg, he was main, he was a big part of the story and a big character, and they reduced him and changed him and treated the actor very poorly, and uh, now they're looking for a black Superman, like, 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 like they didn't just have a problem that they didn't fix there with racism, and now they're going out and being, yeah. It's a bit much, but um, with this, it was kind of funny though because I was watching this video from um, um, Hill vs. Babyface, and I do watch him sometimes because it's just fun to watch him just um, be tortured by like things like um, Batwoman and that, and I, I'm a bit of a sadist, so it's just nice to see him suffer. Um, and whine and spin and twirl and, you know, for 45 minutes at a time, ranting, <laughs> it's funny. Um, but yeah, he was talking about it, and then he went into how the fact that the original artwork also had Han Solo and Chewie. I'm like, oh, so they didn't just remove the black character because they're racist, they removed most of the characters and they just made it about the two main characters, the ones that had, you know, the, the, the Darth Vader stand-in and the Luke Skywalker stand-in. I'm like, well, that's not so racist. Um, um, yeah, so it kind of undermined the whole thing. I'm like, oh, okay. So it wasn't about race, it was just, they just changed the art and because of race people made it into a thing and people jumped on it because they love to attack Disney because Disney's, you know, woke and Disney's um, very much about um, representation and diversity, which of course as a lefty gay man I am too, but um, they've been a bit hypocritical and um, it's very much just a business um, strategy for them than, you know, real concerns and real, um, yeah, so... There's a bit of a storm in a teacup, and I thought it was funny because when I first heard it, I'm like, I can't believe they did that again. I can't believe they did that. This is just unbelievable. And then you see, oh, actually, no, they didn't do that. Um, it was never just those three characters, and they didn't just remove the one character. They removed three of the other characters and just kept it about the two main characters. So it wasn't about race. Um, and it's not like they were marketing, you know, these posts to China. It was so. It was just funny to see that blown up into a thing when it wasn't a thing. Um, but that's what they do. They... they Everyone blows everything up into a thing to fit their narrative. They twist and turn things to fit into their narrative so they can, you know, push it onto their base. And that's what everyone does. And that's why they all have big channels and I don't because I just tell it like it is. 
um, talk about things that's in that interest me, and I don't have a script, I don't have an agenda, I don't sit there and plot and, and mark it and twist how everything, how it's going to go to fit into this or fit into that, and it makes things a lot easier, because those people must just sit and spend all day just, how do we spin this, how do we make this fit into this, how do we make this racist, how do we make this um, anti-racist racist, and uh, um, yeah. I, I guess they earn their money. But um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Um, happy belated Star Wars Day. You know, may the 4th be with you from, like, what, four days ago. But, um, yeah, still I'm going to keep up. <laughs> Thanks, bye.